Hello everyone. In this lecture today, I'm going to talk to you about calculation of intravenous drip rates. I'm also going to talk about calculation of flow rate for an infusion pump. The formula to calculate intravenous drip rates is actually volume in ml divided by time in minutes multiplied by drop factor ZTTS per ml. This will give us the flow rate in ZTTS per minute. Okay, so the first question, first question is calculate the IV flow rate for 250 ml. Okay, so this is 250 ml, 0.5% dex, uh, dextrose to be administered over 180 minutes. And the infusion uh, set has drop factor of 30 ZTTS per ml. So what has been given to us? Okay. First, volume V. Volume V, we have 250 ml. This is the volume. So this is 250 ml. This is volume here. And what else? This 100, 180 minutes. So this is time T. Time T is actually equals to 180 minutes. Okay. Time T is 180 minutes. And the drop factor is 30 GTS per ml. So drop factor. So drop factor. Drop factor is 30 GTS per ml. 30 GTS per ml. Right? So now the formula to calculate the flow rate is equals to the formula to calculate the flow rate that is equals to um so in fusion this we have to calculate the iv flow rate right so i will just write iv flow rate iv flow rate okay this is equals to volume in ml divided by time in minutes multiplied by drop factor okay multiplied by drop factor so volume we have is 250 250 ml divided by time we have is 180 minutes multiplied by the drop factor the drop factor is here 30 gtts per ml okay 30 so gtts per ml okay this ml and ml it cancels out so 36 that 180 and when we divide 250 by 6 then we will have 41.66 on top is ZTTS per minute okay so this is the IV flow rate that will be administered over 180 minutes okay so this is an example one another example Question is here. The question says that the infusion set is adjusted for a drop factor of 15 ZTTS per ml and IV flow rate if 1500 ml. So this is the volume of IV saline is ordered to be infused over 12 hours. Okay. So first volume guys, what is given? We have been given volume. So volume should be in ml. So it's 1500 ml. So it's already in ml. So we don't need to convert. And the next thing is time. Time we have 12 hours. Okay. So in one hour there are 60 minutes. So in 12 hours, 12 times 60. So this will be 720 minutes. Okay. 720 minutes. So whenever you have time in hours, you need to convert it into the minutes because we calculate the infusion flow rate, I infusion IV flow rate as GTTS per minute and the drop factor next thing is the drop factor drop factor so the drop factor is actually 15 ZTTS per ml okay so it's 15 ZTTS per ml right so this is given okay time volume V 1500 ml time 12 hour this is from here and the drop factor 15 ZTTS per ml Okay, so now the formula for IV flow rate, okay, the formula for IV flow rate, IV flow rate, this will be equals to volume in ml, yes, 
divided by time in minutes multiplied by ZTTS, uh, the draw factor, draw factor. So this draw factor will be in ZTTS per ml. So volume we have been given is 1500 ml. So 1500 ml. Okay. And the time. So this is 1500. 1500 ml time is 720 minutes. 720 minutes multiplied by the draw factor is 15, 15 ZTTS per ml. Okay. Divided by ml. So ml, ml cancels out. So when you multiply 150 times 15 and divide it by 720, we can also cancel out 0, 0. The, the, we will have 31.25 ZTTS per minute. So this is our IV flow rate. If 1500 ml IV slime is to be ordered to be infused over 12 hours with the drop factor of 15 ZTTS per ml. Okay. So guys, now I'm going to talk about the calculation of flow rate for an infusion pump. The important thing to consider here is that the infusion pump do not have a calibrated draw factors. Okay, the infusion pump they do not have a calibrated draw factor. Uh, the flow rate depends on the volume and also the time of infusion. Okay, volume of the fluid order and the time of infusion. So the formula is very simple. So it will be volume in ml divided by time in hour, and we will have flow rate in ml per hour. Okay, so the we calculate flow rate in ml per hour for the infusion pump. So the next question uh, uh, we have is 1200 ml of D5 WIB is ordered to infuse in 10 hours by infusion pump. Calculate the flow rate in milliliters per hour. They have already asked us to calculate flow rate in milliliter per hour. So the volume V is here 1200 ml. And so we have time T that is 10 hours, right? So this is volume V here and this is time T here, right? This is given. So we know the flow rate, the formula for the flow rate will be volume divided by time. So volume is 1200 ml divided by time is 10 hours. So the zero and the zero cancels out. So we have 120 ml per hour. So this is our flow rate. Okay. So this was example one. So now another example the question says 600 ml of antibiotic is to be infused over 180 minutes by an infusion pump. Calculate the flow rate ml per hour, right? So then what we have to do? So we have volume V is 600 ml and we have time T which is 180 minutes, 180 minutes. So we have to convert this 180 minutes to hour. So what will we will do? We will divide it by 60. So 180 will be divided by 60. And this will be hour. As you know, 60 minutes is equals to one hour, right? This we know 60 minutes is equals to one hour. So zero, zero cancel out and six, three is 18. So this will be three hours. So 180 minutes will be three hours. Okay. So now we have to use the formula for flow rate. So the flow rate. Okay. Flow rate. It will be equal to volume divided by time. So volume we have 600, 600 ml divided by time. We have three hours. So on top ml, on the bottom hour. So 3 and 6. So 3, 2 is a 6, so 200. So it will be 200, 200 ml per hour. So how we write unit on the top, we have ml and that will be divided by hour. 
on the, in the below in the denominator we have hour so it's 200 ml per hour i hope guys this video was helpful in understanding the calculations for iv infusion drip rate and also the the flow rate for an infusion pump thank you very much for your kind attention and time